Hello, I'm Dave Llewellyn. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Protesters in Michigan and across the country hit the streets to demand change in U.S. immigration policies. Here in Southfield, they gather outside the office of Congresswoman Brenda Lawrence. Protesters are demanding that lawmakers do something about the Trump administration's detention centers for migrant children and families. Reports of awful conditions fueled national protests with a social media hashtag, close the camps. The chief of U.S. Border Patrol operations calls allegations of inhumane conditions at the centers, quote, completely untrue. GM is among more than 200 companies going to bat for LGBTQ rights at the U.S. Supreme Court. The automaker is part of a new legal brief in a case that could determine if gays, lesbians, and transgender people are protected from discrimination under federal civil rights laws. The companies are urging the high court to rule the law does ban job bias on the basis of sexual orientation and gender identity. The justices will hear oral arguments this fall. Here's meteorologist Mike Taylor now with a check of your seven first alert forecast. Thanks, Dave. We are expecting more showers and thunderstorms to continue throughout the night into tomorrow morning. So 73 degrees for an overnight low. It's going to be warm and humid. We are going to have some dry time for your Wednesday, a high of 89 degrees, but another chance of some showers and also some thunderstorms, about a 40% chance. And once again on the 4th of July, but there is some good news in the seven day. We hit 90 on Friday, but notice how the humidity goes down for the weekend and even the threat of seeing some rain going into next week. All right, Mike, thanks. U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is heading to Detroit for the NAACP convention. She is set to speak at the 110th National Convention in Detroit this month. The five-day convention begins on the 20th of July. Other Democratic presidential candidates are also expected to attend this year's event. Nancy Pelosi was elected to Congress back in 1987. She's the only woman to have served as Speaker and is the highest-ranking elected woman in U.S history. Those are your seven action news headlines. We have these stories and much more on our website, wxyz.com and on our app. Have a great night.